For 400 years, we have been the masters of England's waterways. We've drained wetlands, straightened rivers, dug canals and created dams. But times are changing. People are becoming more accepting of a wilder landscape and one eco-engineer has been appointed as the new site manager. Hi everyone, it's Liam here from A Shot of Wildlife. And in this video, I'm going to take a look at the pros and cons of reintroducing beavers into the UK. But first, let's discover a little bit more about them and why they need to be reintroduced in the first place. Eurasian beavers are one of the largest rodents in the world, growing to as much as 30 kilos in weight and up to one and a half meters in length. They have small eyes and ears compared to their chunky heads and a flat paddle shaped tail. With this, their web feet and their dense fur, they are well adapted to a life in the water. Beavers have large incisors that continuously grow throughout their lives and famously use these to chew through wood and fell waterside trees. Although they will sometimes eat the bark, twigs and leaves, most of the wood that beavers chop down is for construction. They use it in combination with rocks, pebbles and mud to create dams across waterways and waterside lodges to live within. Beavers used to be common across most of the UK but went extinct here in the 16th century because they were hunted for their fur, meat and castorium. Castorium is a yellowy brown secretion from near the beaver's anal glands that used to be used in vanilla flavourings but is only really used these days for scented candles and in some perfumes. Mmm, delicious. In recent years, there have been growing calls for beavers to be reintroduced into the countryside and in 2009, the first successful legal reintroduction took place in Scotland. Since then, beaver numbers have risen to more than a thousand in Scotland and as a result of both illegal and sanctioned releases, beavers have also been reintroduced to several locations in England. Recently, a proposal has been made for more licenses to be granted to release beavers across the UK and for them to be given legal protection and recognised as a native species. So now we know a little bit more about beavers, let's discover some of the positives that they might bring if they are reintroduced on a large scale to our countryside. From a conservationist point of view, beavers are a great addition to a watercourse. The dams completely change the flow and depth of the water, creating a myriad of new wetland habitats. This is great for biodiversity and means that many new species can set up home including the UK's fastest declining mammal, the water vole. With more water, more habitat is also provided for amphibians and fish. Studies have shown that there are 37% more fish in areas with beaver dams compared to those without, and more fish means more food for the creatures that feed on them. Through the construction of their dams, beavers can divert and slow the flow of water through their territories. This means that if it rains heavily, more water will be stored upstream and there will be less chance of flooding further downstream. As each beaver family can create multiple dams, this means there will be multiple new natural flood defences in places where beavers are reintroduced. Beavers create wetlands and these are great for storing carbon. Despite only 5-8% to of the world's land surface being made up of wetlands, approximately 25% of the Earth's total global soil carbon is stored within them. This is made possible because decomposing takes longer in the oxygen depleted soils at the bottom of pools. This means the carbon within any organic matter that ends up in beaver pools is more likely to be held there than released into the atmosphere. Being a large, secretive and mysterious species, a lot of people would be willing to visit places 
just to have a chance of seeing beavers in the wild. With the current boom in domestic tourism, the presence of beavers in rural places could be a real draw for tourists, and where tourists go, they bring economic benefits with them. A study at one trial release site found that the economy had been boosted by an increase of local wildlife tours and from the sale of beaver related items, including a specially brewed beaver themed beer. As with any other reintroduction program, introducing a species that hasn't been in our countryside for many years could have negative impacts, so let's take a look at some of those. I know I've already said how beavers may prevent flooding by holding back water with their dams, but what about when these dams are built downstream of towns or cities? A lot of urban areas have rivers running through them and even a slight increase in the water levels here could be devastating for homeowners and businesses. Even where the dams are built away from settlements, there is the risk of the areas they flood belonging to farmers, perhaps being used for growing crops or rearing livestock. Although beavers tend to prefer smaller waterways away from areas where large boats pass through, there has recently been a real upturn in smaller crafts being used on UK waterways, such as kayaks, canoes and paddle boards. There is the real likelihood that some of these places frequented by these water users will be the same places that beavers decide to create their dams and thus an obstacle, preventing or at least making it more difficult and dangerous for people to get through. In the UK there are four species of fish that migrate up and down our rivers to spawn and three of these, the salmon, the shad and the eel have seen massive declines over the last century. Beaver dams may create an extra obstacle for some of these species and prevent or at least make it more difficult for them to pass through. Alongside flooding the land, beavers also chop down and take trees. Research has shown that beavers select larger than average trees and with each year after they've been introduced they move to even larger trees. If this happens in a place where the trees are being grown for profit then it could have a financial impact upon the landowner. I think it's safe to say that the greatest downside to a beaver reintroduction program is the flooding that they may cause in places where it isn't suitable or desired. Thankfully, over in North America where the Eurasian beaver's cousin lives in fairly large numbers, they have already found a solution to this problem. Beaver deceivers. These are pipes that are inserted through a beaver's dam beneath the waterline to allow water to flow through without the beavers noticing. This could be deployed in places where beaver dams risk flooding homes or infrastructure. Where beavers risk flooding farmland, I think a different solution should be employed. Farmers and landowners are already subsidised for turning over a part or percentage of their land to woodlands, meadows or other biodiversity rich habitats and I believe that a fund should be created to do the same and reimburse farmers or foresters where beavers flood some of their land or chop down their trees. When it comes to the impact that beavers may have on waterway navigation for small craft, I think the new wetlands and pools of water that they create may act as a mitigating factor and actually encourage people to deliberately visit places where the beavers have built dams to be able to explore areas they previously couldn't from the water. With regards to fish passage, yes, it is inarguable that if there is a dam across a waterway it will be harder for migratory fish to pass through. However, these fish and beavers have coexisted for thousands of years and research has shown that beaver dams only create a significant obstacle when the water levels are really low. Other research has also suggested that as the water upstream of beaver dams is usually cooler than it would have been without them, the water quality is actually better for these migrating fish 
and rather than the beavers having a negative impact on them, it increases their chances of successful migration. So you may have already guessed that I am very keen and excited for beavers to be reintroduced into our countryside. I think the biodiversity benefits that they will bring will be massive and it will make the whole of our landscape, landscape change. However, I expect you've got your own opinion and I'd like to hear about it. Leave it in the comments down below and I will get back to you. Now if you did enjoy this video, check out one of these other two British wildlife videos and subscribe to the channel for future content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.